Kevin Marshall, owner, Marshall Logging, Antigo, Wisconsin. Yeah, I'm the fourth generation. My great grandpa started back in the day with horses in the 40s, 1940s. I always take the law with my dad in the woods. I always paid attention to what he did and just watched what they had for equipment over the years, how they logged. John Deere skidders, they got like late, late 60s they came out, I guess. He had one of the first, or a couple of the first ones around, like the 440. I think he got like a grapple skitter and must have been mid 70s. In 1998, I took over from my dad. We were running cut to length machines. About two and a half years ago, I started transitioning back to tree length because I started chipping more whole tree chipping. So got into that business. I just love to load chip and load trailers and the tr get trucks in and out. I'm the 853M buncher we use. We got like 6,000 hours on it. We've three and a half years we had it. Been a really good machine. Very few issues with it. We use the track filler bunch because we need more flotation. And then in the hills, it's more stable and hilly ground. And we got a 768L Mogi skitter that we've had almost a year, which is about 1,200 hours on it. It's been a really good machine. I did a lot of research on it. I always liked John Deere skitters. The dealer is half an hour from our shop and it's close by. It seemed like it was a good fit. I mean, I'm just impressed with it, how well it gets around on hills and how stable it is. Flotation is unbelievable on the soft ground with it. And it just, it's an impressive machine to run. In the wintertime when the ground freezes, it's, it's when we really go at, it, go at logging, whatever around here, it's, it just goes better because the ground is frozen. But last winter, we, the ground didn't freeze very well, so that's where the bogey skidder really worked out really well. I don't know if we would have been able to go with a regular four-wheeler. It really floated very well. And the stability of it is unbelievable on hills. They had pretty good markets in the last couple of years, you know, but it's, uh, there's a lot of timber in this area that'd be cut. We get a lot of production done. My guys do a good job and we get stuff done when we're out here and that's all you can ask for.